This man wasn't a soldier, he was a physicist, and the U.S. government handed him an unlimited budget and a secret city to ask one terrifying question. Can we build a weapon that could destroy the world? It's World War II. The Nazis might be building a super weapon. So, America recruits the smartest man alive, a charismatic, complicated professor named Oppie. His mission, assemble the greatest minds on the planet in a desert town that doesn't exist and invent the atomic bomb first. It was the ultimate science race. For three years, he managed this insane project, battling impossible physics and his own team's moral doubts. But as they got closer to success, he started having nightmares. He realized they weren't just building a bomb to end a war. They were opening a Pandora's box for all of humanity. The weight of what he was creating was crushing him, and then it worked. The first test was a success. As he watched the mushroom cloud tower over the desert, a line from Hindu scripture flashed in his mind, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. He had just changed human history forever. He was hailed as a hero, then vilified as a monster. So, what do you think? When a genius succeeds at his life's work, but it haunts him forever, is that a victory or the greatest tragedy of all?